Good morning, good morning, and welcome to 5-Minute Fresh Start. I'm Sebastian Lucido. We're going to talk about judgment today, judging each other. It's Matthew chapter 7, a very profound, very direct, very pure understanding from the Lord about how we should judge uh, our neighbors, our friends, family, and those around us. Verse 1 says, judge not that you not be judged. In other words, don't judge because judgment will come back on you. For with the judgment that you judge, you will be judged. In other words, with the measure of judgment you judge others, it'll be measured back to you the same. Let me read it again. For with the judgment that you judge, it'll be judged, it'll, it will be judged. And with the measure that you use, it'll be measured back to you. It's a direct, direct correlation that your judgment will come back on you as judgment. And so that's, that's important. He goes on, why do you look at the speck in your brother's eye and you do not consider the plank in your own eye? Literally what that means is that judgment is a greater sin than whatever we're judging. And, and it's important to understand this because we're taking the place of God. It's going to tell us that. So when we judge another and we, we put judgment on them, that judgment's coming back on us. But not only that, our judgment is greater than what we're judging in someone else's life, even if they're guilty, by the way. It says, or how can you say to your brother, let me remove the speck from your eye and look at the plank in your own eye? Hypocrites, first remove the plank in your own eye, and then you'll see clearly to remove the speck in your brother's eye. In other words, take care of yourself first, because if you take the plank out of your eye, right, which is the judgment, then you won't judge and you'll walk in love. You'll walk in. There's, there's a different thing between judging and mentoring or judging and helping one, someone through uh, an issue. Uh, there's a difference, and we need, we'll look at that later this week maybe. It says, hypocrites, first remove the plank from your own eye, and then you'll see clearly to remove the, 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 uh, the speck in your brother's eye. Do not give that which is holy to dogs, nor cast your pearls before swine, lest they be trampled underfoot and turn and tear you to pieces. In other words, don't give that which is holy, which is judgment. Don't give that uh, to someone else. Don't cast our pearls, our great riches, before swine, unless it turns and comes back on us. And then he goes, ask and it will be given to you, seek and you will find, knock and it will be opened to you. So here's the thing, and this is an important thing to understand in Christianity. You know, the, the fruit of the Spirit is the, 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 the first thing that has to be in place before any other blessings come into our life. If we're not walking in love, the Bible tells us that we're uh, out of tune, we're annoying, you know, and it doesn't matter if we give our bodies to be burned, give everything to the Lord, you know, uh, if we're wise enough to, to quote the scriptures and teach, if we don't have love, we're nothing. We have no value in heaven. Judgment is taking or assuming God's position. And so we don't judge. We do mentor. We do help people through situations. In fact, the Bible says, you know, that we're to lead them through with meekness and humbleness. You know, uh, 2 Timothy 3 says those that know should teach in humility, not lording it over someone. So our, we don't judge. When we judge someone, we're saying you're guilty, you're doing it wrong, that's it, you're, you know, you're lost. Um, we, we allow the word of God to, in the Holy Spirit to convict or bring judgment. We don't judge. We walk in love. We walk in Jesus, his, his accusers, what did he say? Those putting the nails in his hand, what did he say? Father, forgive them, they know not what they do. He didn't say, Father, burn these guys up, make them toast. And, and you know, Christians are the worst at this because you get this much knowledge and all of a sudden everybody's going around judging each other. We, I can judge sin from the pulpit, but I can't and won't judge a person. A lot of times, you know, uh, uh, you know we'll find ourselves moving that way because it's easy for the flesh to do that, to see a wrong and want it to be right. And so we need to step back from the wrong. We need to get our hearts and our minds in order. We need to settle ourselves. And if we approach a situation, it has to be in love, in mercy, in humility to bring a person through the situation and out of the situation. So that's today's message, guys. God bless you guys. Please 
If you're not supporting us, please support us. Go to our website, watchersofthetruth.com. Please share this with family and friends, and please use our resources. Help us on your journey to know God and his word. God bless you, and have a great day.